Are you tuned in to what your body might be telling you? Before we dive into the topic of today's video, it's important to understand that end-stage liver cirrhosis refers to the advanced and often irreversible stage of liver disease where extensive scarring has occurred in the liver tissue. At this stage, the liver's ability to function properly is severely compromised, leading to life-threatening complications. Make sure to watch till the end for the treatment which is super important. Extensive Liver Damage In end-stage liver cirrhosis, the liver is extensively scarred due to ongoing inflammation and damage over time. This scarring disrupts the normal structure and function of the liver, impairing its ability to perform essential tasks such as detoxification, metabolism, and synthesis of proteins and clotting factors. Life-threatening complications End-stage liver cirrhosis, the final stage of chronic liver disease, is linked with numerous severe complications that pose major threats to health and drastically diminish the quality of life. Among these complications is portal hypertension, a condition characterized by an increase in the blood pressure within a system of veins known as the portal venous system. Veins coming from the stomach, intestine, spleen, and pancreas merge into the portal vein, which then branches into smaller vessels in the liver. If the vessels in the liver are blocked due to cirrhosis, blood cannot flow properly through the liver. This high pressure in the portal system can lead to the development of large swollen veins varices, within the esophagus, stomach, rectum, or umbilical area. Another common complication is hepatic encephalopathy, a deterioration in brain function observed in people with severe liver disease. This condition happens when the liver is unable to remove toxins from the blood, causing them to accumulate in the bloodstream and eventually reach the brain, leading to mental confusion and even coma. Hepaterenal syndrome on the other hand, is a type of progressive kidney failure seen in people with severe liver damage, often in cases of cirrhosis. As the kidneys stop functioning, toxins begin to build up in the body, which can eventually lead to organ failure. Spontaneous bacterial peritonitis is a serious infection that can occur in the abdomen of people with cirrhosis. It often happens when bacteria in the intestine moves to the acidic fluid, leading to potential sepsis and organ failure if not addressed swiftly. Lastly, hepatocellular carcinoma refers to the most common type of primary liver cancer, often seen in people with chronic liver diseases like cirrhosis. This cancer starts in the cells of the liver and if not detected early can spread to other parts of the body, posing a significant risk to life. Each of these complications presents their own unique set of challenges and risks, making the management of end-stage liver cirrhosis a complex and delicate process. Symptoms and Signs the signs and symptoms of end-stage liver cirrhosis can differ greatly, influenced by the individual's overall health and the specific complications they experience. One common symptom is severe jaundice, a condition characterized by a noticeable yellowing of the skin and the whites of the eyes. This is due to an excess of bilirubin, a waste material in the blood. It can cause itching and may make a person feel generally unwell, often affecting their daily life. Profound fatigue and weakness is another common indicator, leaving the individual feeling constantly exhausted, regardless of the amount of rest they receive. This can impact their ability to perform everyday tasks, diminishing their quality of life. Significant weight loss and muscle wasting are also prevalent symptoms. These can lead to frailty, making the patient more susceptible to infections and other illnesses. A balanced diet, along nutritional supplements, can help manage these symptoms to some extent. Ascites and abdominal swelling are also common indications of end-stage liver cirrhosis. This creates discomfort and can limit mobility. A low-salt diet and diuretics can sometimes help manage this symptom. Mental confusion and cognitive decline may also occur, disrupting the patient's capacity to focus, remember and make decisions. This can have a significant impact on their independence. Medications therapy can help manage these symptoms. Lastly, bleeding tendencies due to poor coagulation are common. This can lead to dangerous situations if injuries occur. Regular monitoring of clotting times and supplementation with clotting factors when necessary can help manage this risk. Prognosis and Management The prognosis for individuals with end-stage liver cirrhosis can be poor, with a high risk of mortality, without appropriate medical intervention. Management focuses on supportive care, symptom relief, and addressing complications. In some cases, liver transplantation may be considered as a life-saving option for eligible candidates. Overall, recognizing the signs of end-stage liver cirrhosis is crucial for prompt medical intervention and appropriate management to improve outcomes and quality of life for affected individuals. Regular monitoring and collaboration with healthcare providers are essential, 